It's time now for the life and times of history's greatest horror movie slashers. Abridged Survival Guide with Allie and Jay. We're breaking the rules a little bit with this one, but tonight we wanted to shed light on one of the weirdest crossovers in horror history. One that is confounded over thinkers like myself and only gets more confusing with every passing movie. The Scream series and the View Askew series, a shared universe of comedies written and directed by Kevin Smith. Uh, by the way, Scream takes place in California while View Askew mainly takes place in New Jersey. Yeah, these certainly aren't merely easter eggs shared amongst movies of the same production company. Totally a shared universe. But we now have to dissect. Like one of those f***ing YouTube jackoffs who takes this sort of sh way too goddamn seriously. <laughs> yup! And the connections all start near the end of Scream, where you can see a copy of Clerks in Stu's living room. That's hardly notable, and doesn't mean the films share a universe, but in the year 2000, things got real when Jay and Silent Bob appeared in Scream 3, seen wandering the Hollywood set of Stab 3, an installment of in-universe film series based on the events of Scream that... Ugh, I told you it was confusing. And if it wasn't weird enough, and Jay and Silent Bob strike back, the stoners ambush the Miramax Hollywood film lot and eventually run through a film directed by Wes Craven about a killer orangutan dressed as Father Death. So Clerks exists within Scream, and Scream exists within Clerks. You see why this boggled our minds? Baby, boggled your mind. But, you know, I can sort of see it. Randall and Dante sitting through the stab movies. Randall tears them to ribbons as Dante nags him about how they were based on real people. Funny enough, Scream 5 and Clerks 3 both confirm the existence of ghosts in the world, so... Huh. And they do like that there's Carrie Fisher, a failed actress who looks exactly like Carrie Fisher, and a nun who looks exactly like Carrie Fisher in this alleged universe. Fan theories give me hives, but anything that results in more Carrie Fishers in the world, <laughs> I approve. Also, View Askew has Dante Hicks and Gil Hicks and Jim Hicks and Grant Hicks. Could Deputy Judy Hicks and her son Wes Hicks perhaps be more members of the Hicks family tree? If so, that make three Hicks lost in one year. Not a good year for the Hicks. Er, Hickses. No more Judy Hicks's lemon squares at the next Hicks family reunion. Please stop saying Hicks! Anyhow, in 2019, we got a weird solution that kind of resolved this paradox with Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Jay and Silent Bob are running through a Hollywood convention center when they accidentally interrupt the Clerks' 25th anniversary reunion panel. So, Clerks is actually a film within View Askew, and not just a film, but the same film. Both directed by Kevin Smith, both starring the same cast, everything. In fact, Strike Back references Mallrats and Dogma being movies, so it's safe to assume that most of Kevin Smith's filmography exists within itself. So that kinda explains everything, right? Granted, it opens entirely new rabbit holes. And it doesn't explain how Scream 4 could exist within the Scream world. But then I started thinking, they never outright say this is Scream 4. Now, this is a stretch, but for the sake of a theory I'm dedicating way too much brain power to, this might actually be Stab 4. In Scream 4 and 5, they say that only the first three stabs were based on true events, and everything they did afterwards was made up, with Part 5 going so far as to include time travel. And coincidentally enough, they never touch on Part 4, let alone what it was even about, only implying that it was one of the better sequels. The stab movies were always said to be aping off the horror cliches of yesteryear. Maybe this film was their homage to the likes of Monkey Shines? He said it was a stretch. I can see that too, though. All those rabid stab fanboys from Scream 2 on MoviePoopShoot.com ranting about how those clown shoe ball lickers nearly ruined production of st Stab... Stab 4! The only big flaw is that this monkey movie was a Miramax picture and the Stab movies were made by a fictional Sunrise Studios. But bear in mind that a number of Stab 3's cast and crew were murdered by their own directors, so you could argue that perhaps following this PR nightmare and Stab 3's cancellation, the rights to Stab were bought from Sunrise by Miramax and the franchise continued from there. It's a bizarre thing to think about. In a world where Ghostface is gutting teenagers like fish, there's donkey shows, bong sabers, and Atlantis Morissette is God. At least we know the Ghostface killers are getting what's coming to them. 
Then you'd have to look at all the other movies connected to View Askew that now share the world with Scream by default. Zack and Miri, Vulgar, Tusk, Yoga Hosers. <laughs> you promise you wouldn't say that name in this house! Everyone wanna see Scream crossover with He-Man. Well, think about this. In Captain Marvel, Stan Lee cameos as himself, studying his lines for Mallrats. So, never mind the endless rabbit hole questioning the logistics of real-world Marvel comics within the MCU, but if we're going off the idea that View Askew exists within itself, that means both it and Scream could potentially exist within the MCU. Good luck processing that one tonight. God, I'm starting to get sick of all the meta fourth wall sh** confusing everyone to death with cutesy little references. Why does this peanut-eyed ghost seem so familiar, though? But, you know, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense considering Clerks 3 is all about Randall making his movie Clerk, with him talking about how there's never been a convenience store movie, which isn't true, not to mention the real Clerks has the exact same cast of characters, played by people who look exactly like his actors, that plus wouldn't having Jay and Silent Bob in I... his movie infringe on the whole Saban films owning their likenesses Be... thing from Reboot? And wouldn't this whole movie just kind of infringe on Banky and Holden's comic 37 that we see in Chasing Amy? Shh, 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 shh. Here's a cookie. 